Reputation with the board decreased? Let me get this right. I lost reputation with the board by giving her the truth and the opportunity of sending her to a death. I just... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need a moment and I'm probably gonna need a drink. That is Minister Clark's estate. And it does seem like there is a lot of guards, although there's also a, uh, a way up there. There's no way. Oh, I think there's a ladder at the other side. There it is. I... I don't know if there's a better way in than that door. I mean, you would have thought there might be a way for me to talk my way in. Okay, so that's the... Right, see, restricted access. Yeah, it's... it's... That's the front door. Can I just talk my way in? Hello? This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. Really? Even the threats come with a slogan? Um, I'm, I'm here for Minister Clark. That's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Uh, was the minister expecting a delivery? Minister Clark's a private man, and you're asking too many questions. Okay, let's go to HPS and see if there is, in fact, a package for them. And if there is, maybe we can, uh... You know, convince the guy that we're here to deliver something, whatever that something happens I think we can to be. All right. We didn't have much success last time we were. Yeah, which door is it going to be? Let's go with A. It's going to be the wrong one. How may I be of assistance? Do you have a parcel waiting for Clark, Minister Clark? We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, Minister. Uh, I'm here to pick up the Minister's parcels. Yes, I am. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service Team. That means you'll have to sign a release form. Oh, God. And how exactly do I do that? Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form and then wait for a receipt for my request of a release form. Then you'd have to make an appointment. And how long does that usually take? Couldn't say. We've got a backlog and I'm planning on retiring in the next 35 years, but I could give my successor a memo on your behalf. Are you being funny? You're being funny, right? You're being funny. That was an attempt at a joke. It's hard to tell here. You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box. Right. Uh, what exactly is your name, miss? Why do you need to know? I think Mr. Clark, comma, minister, deserves to know the name of the worker who disappointed him. You know, that is an absolutely sound and sensible line of reasoning, and I see your point clear as day. Here's your parcel to be delivered to Mr. Clark, comma, minister. Law speed. Thank you very much. You've been very helpful. Eventually. That was... Su 
surprisingly easy. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm glad we don't have to go for a swim or sneak through the restricted area. But... Is he really gonna buy this? I just come running up and... Hello? There's nothing to see here. Move along. You know, that's just the sort of thing folks say when they're trying to hide something. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. Okay. Delivery for the minister. That was a little odd. Delivery for the minister. Yeah. Let's see it. I've got this parcel right here. Huh. Looks like your papers are in order. All right. Go on through. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so intelligence not a requirement for that job. Um, oh. Okay, hello, could somebody... Hello, could somebody tell me where I can find the minister? Probably upstairs, yes. Probably upstairs. This, this... Yeah, I would imagine somewhere upstairs does he have an office... Probably the room guarded by two troopers. Sorry, a trooper and a sentinel. My bad. Oh, uh, can I just head on in? Hel How did you get in here? Uh, ah. Oh. Um, I've got a parcel for you, and beyond that, I hadn't really thought about how I was going to deal with this. Um, yeah, we're winging it. You. You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Minister Clark, what a remarkable honor it is to meet you. So this is one of the guys who runs the colony, huh? Small room for a big shot. If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Oh, okay. Uh Seems like we're getting off on the wrong road. Why would, why would I want something like that? Why, why would I want something like that? Slowly and loudly, Aloysius. That's the only way these morons understand anything. Excuse me? I said you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. Okay, call me a moron again and I will end you. Probably not the way to go here. Look, uh, excuse me. I'm not from anybody called Charles. Then... You're not part of Rockwell's PR team. That means you're a dissident? A real live dissident? But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? Okay, I'm the one asking you the question. Wait, you think I'm a dissident? Why would you think I was a dissident? My friend, the slightest demonstration of independent thought or action renders one a dissident in the board's rather expansive definition of the term. Which is why I'm dying to know what brought you here. I'm sort of... You ordered a bunch of chemicals and I need them. Now I'm kind of... In... I'm liking this guy so far. He called me a moron, but let, let's let that slide for now. I'm looking for dimethyl... Dimethyl sulfoxide. Drugs, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. Okay, right... I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or mm -hmm. a purveyor of curative goods. I don't know if our chemicals are here, but this guy is definitely not. Yeah. Will that be all then? <sighs> okay, they're not drugs, they're chemicals, and if you haven't been ordering them, who had? I didn't come all this way to play games, Clark. It's your name on the receipts. And receipts are important to you people, yes? Oh dear, I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Okay. Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Rockwell is... Back up and tell me what you're talking about. You better start talking about... Great... So, R Chairman Rockwell locked you up here... Back, okay, 
Back up and tell me what you're talking about. No, you just... Just could you start making sense and stop calling me a moron? Yes. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. Oh. Yeah, sure. Okay. It's always someone else who ordered the hookers and energizing ointment. Please. This is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Oh. Okay. Why would he go through? Sure, like I'm going to trust a gibbering lunatic. He doesn't seem like a lunatic. He just seems like an annoying person. Then I'd have to deal with him. Why would he go through all this trouble? Yeah, go on. How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. Right. But there is a way to find out. And perhaps to set things right. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. Captain, we must investigate Rockwell. An injustice like this cannot go unchecked. Indeed, it cannot. I can't overstate the urgency of the matter. We really gonna do this? Getting involved is a messy business, and it rarely pays. Right. This is about more than bits. What? This is about the survival of the colony. If you don't help, who will? Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of dissident, Hunter. Oh, God. It's just, okay, right. So, so this guy has been under house arrest, and this Rockwell person is using his authorization to basically run things. He wants help probably getting out of this situation, and then maybe he will give us the chemicals we need. And, uh... Right, okay. You seem a little too excited by all this. Yeah, you do seem... Like, the, the whole... It's not like an episode of Dissident Hunter, okay? You're way too excited about all this. We're discussing industrial espionage, legal redress, the possible salvation of Halcyon. Is this not exhilarating? It's also, confusing. This is the longest conversation I've had with someone else in quite some time. Okay, on the bright side, he's not going to realize I snuck in here with a parcel and then call the guards. I, okay, um, let's focus. How do I get into the HH? At any rate, I'm glad to have someone else on my side. If you're the best this colony has to offer, we're screwed. No, he doesn't. Okay. You know what? No, it's good to have someone who's on our side. Sort of, maybe. You'll give us the chemicals when we're done, right? Maybe. Yeah? I dearly hope I'm not imagining this. Now, we've got to get into the HHC. That's in the Acropolis District, along with the other major corporate and government facilities. But only board employees are allowed into the district. Uh. There's a heavily guarded <laughs> checkpoint just down the street. I... There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. I know specifics. Uh, once I get in the Acropolis district, then what? A few guards don't scare me. The tunnels sound good. I prefer a quiet approach. For obvious reasons? Uh, probably obvious reasons. There's all sorts of danger down there, right? They're rather dirty. Oh, and that. There are also rumors of sprat infestations, faulty auto mechanicals, and other unsavory hazards. If that sort of thing bothers you. No, that's pretty much... Uh, okay, it, it doesn't. It does not bother me at all. Suit yourself. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Oh. How did you manage to hang on to your access card? That's a good question. The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. Oh, you can just, just, no. No. I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer than a few pages around here. Obviously, the chairman surrounds himself with the cream of Byzantium's elite. There are a few advantages to dealing with imbeciles. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks. Wait. Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. 
Well, what's on the cartridge? What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more, all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. You're awful trusting for a guy who's been locked in his own house for years. The Earth Directorate is our best hope. Even Rockwell's resources are no match. And it is hardly in their interest to let Halcyon crash. Yeah, that doesn't explain why you're so trusting of us. How long will that take? Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. Well, okay, but if it works, it'll be worth this way. It? Well, it's something, I guess. Maybe. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis district. Okay, well, I don't trust anyone in any district, to be honest. Okay, so. Uh, yes, uh, enjoy your package, Minister. That was a little. Odd. And by a little, I mean extremely odd. So we have to break into Chairman Rockwell's office to find out what's going on and hopefully where the chemicals are. But Clark also wants us to send a message to the Earth Directorate telling them that things have gone to crap here so that hopefully they can come and fix it. But are the people back on Earth, you know, any better than the board here? Probably. I mean, Clark didn't seem quite as, you know, out there. I mean, he seemed annoying, but difficult to know. Guess it's in the same damned place. Yes, think so. Now, One problem, one problem with going through the tunnels is I will technically be trespassing once we come out, yeah? All right. is, it, is it worth Didn't trying a an ex -con, Vicar? Technically, I was a priest, not a prisoner. Oh, so you could leave whenever you wanted. No, I had to fulfill my duties first. Then you had a sentence. Not exactly. You just got a lot more interesting, Preacher. Okay. It's... Yeah, it is... Up... There. I mean, can we... Talk our way in? Restricted access. The Acropolis District is off limits. Move along. Okay, pers uh, oh, I'm not looking. Uh, yeah, no, bound if I take a breather. I'm pretty tired after hauling around all these bits. What? You could have asked me, you know. What? What in the law's name are you on about? I'm not going to give you money. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. I was going to bribe you, but I realized I don't have enough on me. What? Honest mistake. Why don't you come back another time and we can take this from the top? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I wasn't looking for trouble. I just wanted to wander, wander around a little bit. Is that That's not an option, I guess. Yeah, and I'd really like a new Hammersmith grenade launcher. Hammersmith, the most trusted brand in brutality. But we can't all have what we want. And seeing as you don't seem the executive sort, you obviously don't belong in the Acropolis district. Uh... You don't know that you... That's a brilliant logic. You should be promoted. Yes, you should. Hey, I've been trying to get a post at the HHC, but they keep turning me down on account of my odious interpersonal skills. Or something. Anyway, I've worked here long enough to know every clerk by name and face. And since I don't know yours, you ain't getting through. Oh. Uh, you don't know me because I'm new to the job. I'm starting at the Ministry... Tomorrow, yes. You're new to the ministry? Yes, I am. You one of those lab coats they promoted from a company town? S 
Uh, yeah, ever heard of stimulation? I developed the active compound, apparently. That was yours? Wow. You earned that promotion, all right. So you start tomorrow, huh? You know, they should have set you up with an ID six to eight weeks ago. Uh, okay, if I ever get a clerk who stiffed me, I'm going to insure him with a strongly worded memo. Yes. You do that. I will. Yeah, all right. You're good to go. Okay, brilliant, 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 brilliant. So we don't actually have to... Oh, that's good news. Hello, hello, new employee. I never could have handled the desk job. Um... Where does this go? Ooh, right, okay, so the maintenance tunnels would have led me here, and I would have come face to face with all of these people and probably been in a little bit of trouble, right? Yeah, it's in here. Out of curiosity... Where's... Where's Ellie? Yes, I'll step lively. Where... You got it. Oh, she, there she is. Okay. I am en route, Captain. What were you talking about? I could have asked you. Something on your mind? Could you have got us in here? Could you have got us in here? I should have thought of that, shouldn't I? I should definitely have thought of that. I just don't think of you, you know, as one of these guys anymore. But never mind. No harm, no foul. We got in. We got in. Not, no problem. Let's... Go on in and try to look like we belong. Woo. Okay. Let's talk to B. Just act like we belong. Yeah, you're repeating what I just said. Hello? Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Auntie Cleo, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Thank you. I'm sorry, but I've already exceeded my friendly banter quota. Oh, okay, that's that's nice. Uh, we're... Oof. Do we really need all this security? I have to go through three checkpoints just to take a bathroom break. Can't be too careful. Dissidents like Phineas Wells will stop at nothing to ruin this colony. Hell, I even heard a rumor that Celeste Jollicker was recently uncovered as a dissident. But couldn't they concentrate the security outside the building, so we can get some work done? Why are you so bothered by having a few guards around? I think I'm gonna have to speak to your supervisor about these dissonant leanings of yours. Wait, that's not what I meant. Stab him. Take a pencil out, stab him. Okay, uh... Where are we going to be going? We need to go upstairs, probably. That's where the office of the head guy usually is, isn't it? Right. But we're just wandering around being just the average employee. Taking a break. Looking for a place to not get noticed by the boss. Um. Hi. State your business. Um. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Oh, I'm high priority. I am. Show him the minister's HHC access card. Is this a fish? Oh, is that a good idea? Okay, well, they don't know, do they? Is this official enough for you? Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Oh, God, what? Each weapon will need a separate form. <sighs> That's ridiculous. That you, 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 do I have to leave my weapons? That is pretty ridiculous. It's procedure. Yeah, same thing, really. Now well, let's see. Damn it! When did I run out of forms? Um. Okay. Oh, what a shame. How about it? Yeah, I. You save us both some trouble and let me through. Yay! I was going to suggest that myself. Good man. Look. You don't have time to wait on new forms. And I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and waive your forms. Excellent. Roll your... My, mighty fine of you. No, fine, but I just... No, mighty fine of you. 
Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs, and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny, and they'll paint the walls with your guts. Uh, thank you for the helpful advice. That's... I still have my guns, don't I? Yes, excellent. Okay. All right, we're in. We're in. And, uh... Yeah, I'm still making this up as I go along. Just look for an office. Look for an office that looks important. And let's hope that this chairman is not there, because we want to root around. If the chairman's there, we talk to him and... try to act all important. Uh, okay, I'm guessing we should probably talk to Percival. Hello, Percival. Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Uh, what exactly do you do here apart from rearrange stationery? Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the adjutant's stationery, which is more of a hobby. Oh. Okay. That's very exciting. The art of arranging stationery is a never-ending source of joy and satisfaction. Will there be anything else? Right. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Uh, can we, can we go in here? Is this, is this, that is sealed. Um. Oh, we do have a card for someone's office though, don't we? Yes, we do. Excuse me, just a moment. Oh, sorry, 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 what? I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. Oh, sorry, uh, like, yeah, I used to, I, uh, no, you, oh, oh, you should come back to your desk. I saw someone eyeing your stationery. What? Oh, dear. Thank you for reminding me. I can't stand the thought of someone else's hands touching my custom letterheads. Oh, no, no, no problem, no problem. Guys. All right, I'm going. Get in, get in, get in. Where, where's Ellie? Sure. Okay, we're in. We're in. We're in. Let's... Okay. Why is there a hole in the... What isn't that... Okay, I have a horrible feeling this is about to go... Oh, God. If I get seen taking stuff like that, it's going to be even worse. So they've knocked. What's with the big hole in the wall? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Okay. Cartridge. Right, okay. So. Um... Ooh, view priority message. Chairman, the rough cut of the presentation is prepped to play. The PR department has a lot of work to do, but we've covered the basics. Halcyon is on the brink of starvation. The board scientists are working on a solution. The workers can look forward to a lifetime employment program for their chance to contribute. You'll see the current version when you print your key card for the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. And yes, before you ask, the dimethylene sulfoxide has been de delivered there. Okay, it's waiting for you to sign off on the broad stroke, so I wanted to make sure you saw it. Don't worry, I'll make sure it gets properly edited. Sophia. Okay. So, Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. That's where the chemicals are. Let's print the keycard. Wait. No. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. Okay. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. Right. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. 
It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. Okay, now that's... And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate-mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Okay, so they're going to freeze everyone to save food. Okay, you know... Oh, sorry, Vicar Max. I just... I wanted to... Uh... 98. Do we have anything that could give us the 100? I don't think we do. I do not think we have... Damn it. All right, okay. Well, that was some quite distressing information. Yes, it... I don't know about you, but I'm all for living fast and dying young. And not being frozen. Are you free to talk? Uh, I might be in a minute. In a minute. Give me a second. Right, we need a hundred... Hack is... That... Send Minister Clark's message to Earth. Should we? Should we do that? I mean, it seems like a good idea, I guess. Personal files. Subject. What's taking so long? Percival. How long does it take to clear out an abandoned office? Toss Clark's belongings into the streets of Byzantium. For all I care, he's not using them. Just get my office expansion done before I return. That explains the hole. I'm tired of staring at that hole in the wall. And for law's sake, do something about that doom and gloom presentation. We have the brightest minds in Halcyon working in our public relations department, and they make this announcement sound like a damned funeral elegy. We need something bright and cheerful. We need something we can sell. See Ah, uh, masseuse, reschedule my regular Wednesday massage. I have urgent matters to attend to off-site. Food reserves. I've made inquiries and can confirm we have plenty of food, real food, stored away from our intercolony trade. The nutritional profile of food produced within Halcyon has continued to decline. Soon people are going to start feeling hungry no matter how much they eat. Unfortunately, it's gotten too expensive to continue buying from even the closest colonies, but what we have will sustain Byzantium and a minimal workforce for the foreseeable future. Other corporations. Chairman, the heads of the other nine corporations are up in arms about the shares again. The heads of UDL, you can overrule them easily, but I thought you should know they're at it again, Percival. Oh, okay. I forgot. I have tech skills that gives me... Oh, no, it's stealth. It's stealth skills. Do I have anything that gives me stealth skills? And the answer is no. I used to. I used to have something that would give me stealth skills, but now I do not. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Annoying. Um, yeah. So close. What else was there? Let me just... Before I send that... Okay. Before I send that informa... What are you two doing? Okay, Max wants to talk. If I still believed in the grand plan, a revelation like this would have seriously shaken my faith. Knowing you... I can only assume you have already begun formulating a plan to deal with this. So tell me, what are we going to do? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to dig up more in into the issue and sort it out. I failed to see how it was our problem. I don't know, but someone's going to die and it won't be us. I think we're going to need more. We're going to have to dig more into the issue and sort it all out. We really are. Although we do have that... Um, scientist we've sent to Phineas, she's looking to solve this. 
but we'll dig more into the issue and sort it out. Yes, of course. And when you do, you can count on me to back your play. Good man. Your instincts haven't failed us so far. Anything you'd like to discuss? Uh, no. Ha-ha! <sighs> I turned the right way, mostly. What about you? Something on your I'm mind? I'm just wondering if you wanted to say anything? No. Okay. Oh, that is such a shame. We're so close. Shipment status report 100. We're like right there. Because I bet you any money, we're going to go wherever we think we're supposed to go. And it'll turn out not to be the right bloody place. Let's have a look at this. You learned the dimethylene sulfoxide is at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale, along with whatever Chairman Rockwell is working on. Oh. You know, before we send that message and alert absolutely everyone, I'm just wondering where there's stuff to steal, but we're not here to steal. Plus, they might notice that. Was there anything else? I don't think there was. Let's just send this information. I can't believe I'm like this close, this close to being able to hack that. That is, oh, just, oh, two points. All I need is two points. And then when I wear those goggles and I've got Max along with me, I could get in there. Oh, the frustration. All right, send Minister Clark's message to Earth. All right, we've done it. Let's hope that was a good idea. And for now, let's get out of here. And out of curiosity, we're supposed to be going to... Oh, it's off to the side. All right, okay. Oh, the board reputation decreased. How did they find out about... That's because we sent the information, right? Ooh. We are getting on their bad side, aren't we? Yes. We are. Okay. Let's do... Thank you! Well, everything checks out. Right. So we've probably got to break into another board run building. By the end of this, all the board guards are going to be trying to shoot us, right? Uh, thank you very much. You've been very, very helpful. I will, uh, I will put in a good report for you. Yes, I will. And it should be to the left. Past the robot gardener. And hopefully this key will work. We just stroll on in like we own the place. All right. And we are... Let's have a look. Uh, you've learned the dimethylene sulfoxide, is it right? So we're just looking for where the hell they're keeping this. Just... Office clerks. Uh, are you coming to speak to me? No. Okay. Restricted access over there. Let's, um... We're just an employee running around like every other employee. Is that restricted access? Looks like it, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, do I even have... A thing. I don't think I have a thing. Employee rights. Okay, this is HR. Sir. Maybe we can find an ID cartridge. Okay. Let's have a look. Uh, this is going to be a pretty easy hack. So, you. Okay. Humans are our fourth most important resource at the Ministry. If you have a complaint about anything work-related, write about it here. You will feel much better after you do. View employee complaint. Okay. 
Theodore Isaacs keeps eating my purple berry lunches. I know that sprat tooth little snot is the one doing it. I've seen him with the cracker crumbs on his lips and purple berry stains on his lab coat. Working next to him and seeing him pick the remains of my lunch out of his disgusting teeth makes me want to scream. There I did it. I screamed a little. That felt good. I'm just going to sit in the kitchen and wait for him to do it again. I'll catch him in the act and then I'll come back and write up another entry. I'm going to be so livid. Okay, so... You've learned... Right, yada, yada. Carolyn, a scientist in the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale, has an ongoing feud with Theodore, one of her co-workers. So that just gives us a way in, but we... Okay, let's... Steal the dark matter bar. No, if any... What I'm... Trying to spot is if there's a... An ID cartridge around that lets me go... I mean, it says restricted access. I'm guessing it means through there. Yeah? So we don't want to go through there, <laughs> basically. Right, let's just wander around a little more. We're just an employee wandering around doing employee things. Yes. We are. This is what employees do. They wander. Is this the cafeteria? It could be, couldn't it? Vending machine? Right. Don't steal someone's lunch. Um, we could, of course. Check the vending machine, just in case. You never know. Extender sight, magnum. Um, hunter kit. Uh, Purpleberry lunch. Ooh, maybe we could buy one of those. I actually think I've got quite a few of those. Yes, I do. If we could find whoever is having the feud with Theodore, we might have a way ah, ha, ha. Caroline sorry I'm kind of in the middle of something uh do you know Theodore Isaac science sir. you seem like a woman who knows about sprat mitochondria but I could take this conversation uh somewhere else if you're busy yes oh oh you know I always have time for sprat mitochondria as well as charming men who can appreciate the finer points of cell biology. Right. How do you feel about mitosis and meiosis? The contours of smooth endoplasmic reticula. Am I just making stuff up at this point? This is certainly a conversation worth continuing elsewhere. But I don't think I've seen you around, and I'm sure I'd remember you. I knew my paperwork has not come through yet. In that case, I can get you into the lab. Consider it a favor you can repay later. Okay. Follow me. Oh, okay. So we didn't even need to use the whole conflict thing. I just used my natural charm. You see? Thank you, Ellie. Your... Oh, no. Actually, it was Max, wasn't it? Science knowledge was invaluable. Okay. You know, I suppose you could walk a little faster. I suppose we should walk a little slower, probably. I'm just a fast walker. Yes, I am. I do like these floors, though. Not these. I mean those fancy solar system ones. Oh, okay. Old, I need a favor. Think you could let my friend through just this once? After all, you still owe me. Fine. But I don't want to hear anything about the catch-up packet incident ever again. And he's on his own if he runs into the guards downstairs. You're the best host. Yeah, I want to know about that packet incident thing. Hi. Go on through. Like, really? Seriously? I want to know about that incident so very badly right now. Oh. Okay, you're playing against yourself. I'm going to guess you're probably losing. And we're not going to be... 
picking locks. So where the hell are we supposed to be going? I so want one of those. I so want one of those. Also not. Might be able to pick this one. Downstairs is a bad idea, right? So don't go downstairs just yet. Oh, don't need to pick the lock. Don't need to pick the lock. And what do we have here? Just stuff. Anything useful? Doesn't look like it. Was the one on the other side? Probably. Oh. Oh, that kind of looks like an elevator, which makes me think this is definitely not the same room, but we don't have a card. No, we don't. We do not have a card. But if I get... Sp right, this... Going downstairs is a bad idea, right? Okay, you know what? Let's just just do a quick run around and very, very carefully see if we missed something somewhat important. Well, we missed a very nice bathroom, but beyond that, I don't think we did miss anything. Which means we're just... That didn't... That's bad. Right. Yeah, so it looks like we're going down stairs. There's a couple of rooms we can't... Well, there's one room up there that's locked and one room that seems to be sealed. Which means... This is our only option. And if the guards catch us down here, apparently, we're in trouble. Which probably means we're in trouble. Okay. Do we actually have Am I? Okay, yes, we do. We have an ID for this. Uh... What's this I hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample 4157? That batch failed spectacularly. I saw a variance in the results that we never accounted for, so I had the techs run the trial again. And the results were 0.003% different this time. Do the words statistically insignificant mean anything to you? Of course, but we're obligated to explore every possibility. We're obligated to get a working formula before Akande has us all in tanks to help test the next batch of samples. Now get to work. Right. Okay, so I look like a guard for now. I want to refresh my uh, my disguise before it runs out. Okay. They're going to be thinking, why does this guard keep walking in and out of these of the elevator? Are you guys? Yeah, you you guys are all disguised as well. Right. Is that another bathroom? Probably. Oh, this is so going to fail at some point very, very soon. Do the scientists mind? Probably not. But let's not test that theory. They did say mind the guards, right? It's going to be over there. It really is. When we move, it... 
Okay, no way we're getting back to the elevator now. So, when this disguise drops, we're probably going to be in a lot of trouble.